Okay, so hopefully you have most of these things at home. Just some, these are just old paint brushes. I'm not using anything fancy. It's just a jar with some water in it. Some old paints. I bought these ones because I had run out and because it's much cheaper just to spend a couple of dollars on these acrylic paints than it is to spend the eight to twelve dollars that it costs to get a can of spray paint. These emery boards are really, really good for sanding off unwanted features, like in this case it says made in China, which you probably don't want. You can use that as an undercoat. That was designed to help paint stick to plastic and um, metallic surfaces. But really, the idea of this is just to make something cheap and quick. So if you have that kind of thing, you can use it. Otherwise, I recommend just using your emery board or your sandpaper and just roughing up the surface. You can pull these cap guns apart and you can paint this separately and that would be good to go as a gun metal or a silver kind of colour. So after you've done your light sanding, the next bit to do is to go outside and give it a spray of that undercoat and if you don't have any undercoat, you could have gone straight ahead with a spray paint of gold. Don't make the mistake I did to start with and buy something labelled gold and then realise that it's just basically baby poo brown and has no metallic in it at all. That is basically useless, so you don't want that. This is a commercially manufactured steampunk pistol. Now this cost me about $20 all up when it came to adding postage and handling on because they don't sell steampunk type weapons locally for me. You can see here that they've just done a gold undercoat and before assembly they had this separately so this is the silver bit the rest is just gold they've added a sticker they've added some black wash and they've gone and put some um, and done a little bit of painting with brown on there after this is dry or if you're just going to go straight ahead and paint over the roughened surface you can begin the, the painting While you wait for those to dry, you can grab a few of those little washes that I showed at the beginning. I found the three smallest and I'm leaving them silver and I painted the three next biggest ones gold. This was two dollars for a whole set and in this case I'm needing to make four guns for a dance performance. If you have time, try and get some little cogs. These cogs are from eBay and because I knew in advance I could order them in from Asia and it didn't cost that much money, only a couple of dollars. Please note, we've made this mistake before myself and my friends, is that inside modern watches they do not have cogs anymore. So there's no point in going to um, an op shop or a thrift shop and trying to get a watch and think oh that's alright I'll get the cogs out of it because they just don't exist anymore. What you can get though from those thrift shops and op shops is sometimes they have containers like this broken jewellery bits and pieces. This kind of thing is great for doing steampunk costumes but also for weapons and things and sometimes there's little bits and pieces in there that you can use to stick to your weapon. Then you're going to need some sort of adhesive to glue on bits this really cheap super glue works to keep things on, but if you have something like a cap gun and you want to fire it, uh, you're going to need something stronger. So you could try something like um, this epoxy adhesive here. I also had these, these are like a scrapbooking type ornament. I've had them for like 10 years and so I had several of them. These look really cool for steampunk. Just have a look around your place and see what you can find.
Okay, here's the finished product.